Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over the admin bar in Drupal 7. So now that we've installed uh, Drupal 7, um, this is what the basically this is what the screen takes you to. Um, this is your site. If you are logged in um, and you have access to the admin bar, this admin bar will show up here. Um, these are the main links, and these are your shortcuts right here. If you want to hide your shortcuts, if you don't use them, you can just click this arrow and they're hidden. Um, so first off, I want to show you uh, this button always takes you home. Uh, next up is your dashboard. And this is good for site uh, administrators or content administrators, people who are going to be using the site um, and need some sort of user-friendly interface to sort of see what's going on. And this dashboard can be configured. As you can see, it's uh, pretty blank. Um, it gives you a couple of blocks here to begin with, this who's new, search form, and recent content. Um, however, if you click this customize dashboard, um, you can see you can add other blocks and then even further add more blocks. Um, in later lessons, we'll get into blocks and then I'll show you exactly uh, customizing your dashboard. But just know that that's what it is here. Uh, next up is the content. So um, content will take you to the same place that this find content button will take you. Um, right now we have two what are called content types um, and that's what Drupal installs with. There's article and basic page. Um, article is sort of like a blog post and basic page is just a page. Um, so right now if we were to click add content it would then ask us if we wanted to create an article or a basic page. And again, in later tutorials, we're going to be going over content types uh, in greater detail and how you can create your own content types um, for greater control over your site. Also in content, you can see you have access to um, published and unpublished comments. If you are using Drupal's commenting system, this is where you'd be going for that. Here is structure. Structure is where you can get at things like blocks, um, your content types. Like I mentioned before, this is where you would um, change uh, or create new content types, your menus, and your taxonomy. And so some of these things might seem a little weird right now because uh, Drupal likes to use its own language. So taxonomy, think of it as sort of like tags. Um, um, you're tagging a post or you have some sort of classification you know, some sort of tag for your, your content. Uh, menus, you know, it's pretty much navigation or anything like that. Um, menus can get really, uh, really robust. You can, you know, do any sort of nesting and uh, creating all sorts of multiple navigations um, that you can then use as blocks, which are right here, to show up on your site somewhere else. And blocks can be all sorts of other content. Again, we're going to get into this more, but think of a block as just sort of a chunk of content that you're going to set somewhere on your site. All right, and next is appearance. And in appearance, this is where you're going to um, deal with what themes you have installed. In the next tutorial, we're going to be going over how to install a theme. Uh, but for right now, you can see by default, Bartik is the theme that's enabled. And then uh, 7 is, the, is another theme that's enabled, but it's not set as your default so you don't see it. Um, if you go down here, this is your administration theme. This is the theme that these menus are using. And this is using that seven. As you can see, there's also Garland, which is an older theme that uh, um, Drupal's had for a little while. And then Stark is, you know, as, as you can see, it's pretty blank here. Um, if some themes have different settings, you'd click here for settings and then um, you know, here you can toggle logo, site name, pretty much any of this stuff. Um, as you'll see in the next lesson, uh, more advanced and different themes are going to have different settings. As you can see, this is the global settings. We also have, this is the settings for Bartik. So if we wanted to get in here and just change the, the header color for whatever reason in here, um, you could do that without having to touch the CSS. And then seven, these are sevens. Okay. Next up is people. These are the users of your site. Um, this is a pretty powerful place because not only being able to add users and um, delete them or whatever, 
you also have access to all of their permissions. And permissions play a big role when you're dealing with all sorts of content in Drupal. Um, you can pretty much decide who sees what and who can access and change what. Um, like I said, permissions are a very powerful thing in Drupal. And uh, also, in most of these menus, they come with this filtering. So you could filter by, you know, the show me administrators. It's pretty basic. Um, works nicely if you have lots of users or lots of content. So let's just reset this. Okay, well, that's the first half of the admin, admin bar. In the next tutorial, we're going to go over the last half. Um, and we're going to go over adding shortcuts. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. And thanks for watching. Bye.